Hello everybody, my name is Paige. Welcome to my channel, Paperbacks and Lattes. These are some romance books that are releasing in March. I started this in February and I wanted to continue it. I am going to post a video every month letting you guys know about some romance books that are releasing in that month. Um, I just think it's a neat way to, you know, kind of remember which books are coming out because I know that I forget all the time and then I look back and I'm like, oh yeah, that book came out. So, um, and I also find new books. Like I put so many books on my TBR because of this and I'm like, oh, I've got to read that. So anyway, I know I don't cover everything. I just try to pick out what readers are going what you guys are going to want the most so let's go ahead and get started I think I have 34 books so I will just let's say a little short blurb about each one and I go in order from the first day to the last day in the month so on March 1st the wedding game by Megan Quinn is releasing the heroine is a crafting genius and she has her own Etsy shop which is very successful around the whole world and she convinces her brother and his husband to be to compete on this um, wedding game. It's it's a DIY TV show called The Wedding Game, and they are competing to be the, for the title of the top DIY wedding expert. And the hero is asked to compete on the show by his newly engaged brother, and he begr he begrudgingly agrees <laughs> and joins them on the show. They both clash on the show as they argue and bicker, but the attraction grows between them. I think that is such a cute um, premise. I think that one is really going to be one I want to read. It just sounds so cute and I've never even heard, you know, it's, it's a, uh, they craft on this <laughs> competition show. I think that is such a cute idea. On March 2nd, Love Like Her by Claudia, Goa comes out and this is the third book in the against against all odds series so the hero and the heroine met years ago at the airport while they were trying to both catch their planes and they had an instant attraction and they hooked up but they knew that it wasn't going to work out between them because they live so far away so they went their separate rate separate ways and that over the years they have ran into each other but nothing, nothing ever worked out because something or someone was always standing in the way of anything happening between them but until now when she is hired to plan his best friend's wedding also on March 2nd float plan by Trish Dollar releases this is the this Arthur's debut novel and ever since the loss of her fiance, the heroine has been racked with grief until a reminder for a trip that they were supposed to take together comes up. She decides to take the voyage alone in their sailboat, but after the first treacherous night, she knows she cannot do it alone, so she hires a professional sailor to help. A romance rises with the tide, and they both discover it's never too late to chart a new course. Also on March 2nd, I Think I Love You by Ariane de Sombre comes out. This is a YA sapphic romance novel. Emma is a diehard roman romantic and loves a cute Netflix, her pet, and dreaming up the gay rom-com for the film festival she and her friends are enter entering. But her friends aren't listening to her, to her ideas and the movie is doomed from the start. Until a real life plot twist unfolds behind the camera when Emma and Sophia start seeing each other in a new lens. Also on March 2nd, Down Comes the Night by Allison Saft is releasing. Ren's reckless magic has cost her everything. She's been dismiss dismissed from the Queen's Guard and she is separated from her best friend, the girl she loves. Damn. She thinks she has a chance to redeem herself when she is asked to come cure a servant from a mysterious illness. So she hops up at the chance to do that and she enters this mansion and it turns out it's not a servant that she has helped, but it is their her kingdom's enemy. And her eccentric host forbids her from leaving the mansion after dark, so she cannot leave. 
And so she and the enemy have to work together to escape the monsters in the mansion and save their kingdoms. That sounds freaking amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to read that one. <laughs> also on March 2nd, accidentally engaged by Farah Heron, Heron comes out. So the heroine loves her life, but her parents keep butting in. Her father moves his newest employee across the hall in hopes that she will marry him. She doesn't want a relationship, but she agrees to be friends with him. But then her career plummets and she agrees to a fake engagement so they can enter in on a couple's video cooking contest and cooking them cooking together at home brings them closer together and things turn physical. Also on March 2nd, Dotted Lines by Devney Perry releases. This is the fifth book in the Runaway series. The heroine returns to California, a place that she has avoided for more than a decade. The hero lives there and she wants to return to find out if the feelings that she had when they were runaway teenagers living in a junkyard together are still real. They couldn't be together because he belonged to another. Now he's a man and timing is still working against her. She has to decide how far she'll go to win his heart. Also on March 2nd, yes, there are a lot of books releasing on March 2nd, <laughs> but Under Balls by Kristen Proby releases, and this is the first book in the With Me in Seattle Mafia series. This is a brand new Mafia romance series. So the oldest son of the Seattle's mob boss is infiltrating the Russian Mafia for the revenge of his aunt and uncle's murders. He uses the daughter of the Russian mobster and thinks he's using her for her for his plan. But she's smarter than he thinks and has a plan of her own because she wants to rule. And the last book releasing on March 2nd is Yes and I Love You by Ronnie Lauren. This is the first book in the Say Everything series. Everyone knows Ms. Poppy, the vibrant reviewer whose commentary brightens the New Orleans nightlife but no one knows Holland, the real face behind the star. Her fear keeps her isolated. When aspiring actor Jasper finds out the woman who orders her coffee every day is the face behind Miss Poppy, he realizes he has a golden opportunity to get the media attention his acting career needs. All he has to do is help Holland out of her shell and through their growing connection, finally find her voice. On March 4th, Morningwood by Heather M. Oregon, or, Oregon I, don't, I never know how to pronounce her last name, is releasing. The hero and the heroine have a one night stand and they don't see each other for two years. She unintentionally hires him to fix the remodel of the chapel at the funeral home that her family owns and operates and because a previous contractor just messed it all up. So he comes in to help and fix it. He's every bit as charming as she remembers and has her six-year-old daughter wrapped around his finger and her parents eating out of the palm of his hand and her best friend shipping them together. Also on March 4th, Love to Tempt You by Jay Saman, Sam, Salmon, I don't know. <laughs> I really can butcher some names sometimes. That releases on March 4th. A rock band hires a new assistant and she's off the limits, but the, the hero is the drummer of the rock band and he wants her for himself. The chemistry between them is undeniable and they both fall for each other. On March 5th, When the Storm Breaks by Emery Rose releases. This is the second book in the Lost Stars series. The heroine has had a rough life growing up, but she succeeded in life and she became a famous rock star. But she falls for a hero who is all country and his life is in Texas and hers is on the road. He guards his privacy and hers is hounded by pap paparazzi. Everyone told her it wouldn't work, but she didn't listen. She fell for him anyway, but he was hiding secrets that could destroy everything, including them. On March 7th, The Last Piece of His Heart by Emma Scott releases. This is the third book in the Lost Boys series. And I'm just going to um, preface this. is This is M. Scott, so you know it's emotional. <laughs> so, at the Santa Cruz Central High School, they call the Lost Boys the, mit the Misfits and the Outcast. The hero had been to hell and back, and after 10 years in foster care, is now 18. He moves in with his uncle. He, his uncle gives him a place to stay. 
and his uncle gives him a job of managing their um, managing a shabby apartment complex. He then meets the heroine who has it all put together, but she's fighting demons of her own and is letting them drive her to success. When they meet the physical attack, when they meet, the physical attraction is instant and scorching, but they don't believe it will last, that love is a lost dream for how damaged they both are. But they can't resist each other until one terrible night destroys their dreams and futures. Do their past determine their future or can they build a new one from the broken pieces of their hearts? Like I said, <laughs> very emotional. On March 9th, The Devil Wears Black by LJ Shin is releasing. This is a second chance romance. The heroine has a career in fashion and her boyfriend is a pediatrician, but her ex storms back into her life, demanding an outrageous request. She wants to refuse him, but she also wants to fulfill his father's last wish. So even though he broke her heart, playing his fiance shouldn't be hard. Also on March 9th, Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert is releasing. This is the third book in the Brown Sister series, and I'm so freaking excited for this book. So Eve is the youngest of the Brown sisters, and her parents want her to grow up and prove herself because she has just been kind of a disaster one after another. So she interviews for a job at a B&B for the chef position, and he automatically refuses her. He is... The owner, the owner is in control and expects per perfection and he takes one look at her and says, no. <laughs> he tells her no and she hits him with her car by accident. And now his arm is broken, the B&B is understaffed and he, she helps him out by working in the kitchen. The longer they spend time together, the more the animosity turns into something else. The heat between them is impossible to ignore and is melting the hero's frosty exterior. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to read that book. <laughs> also on March 9th, Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrienne Tooley is releasing. This is a fantasy sapphic romance. A witch who has been cursed to never love meets a girl hiding her own dangerous magic. The two strike a dangerous bargain to save their queendom. Also on March 9th, The Other Daughter by Janet Nissensen. Nissensen? So sorry. <laughs> that releases on that day. And I've also added this one to my TBR. Because, of course, it's a forbidden love story. So, gotta, gotta read that. <laughs> the heroine has lived a very difficult life. She was raised by a neglect a neglectful mother and an alcoholic grandmother and her dad her father abandoned her before she was even born and that was all before she entered the foster care system she is tough and bitter and works three jobs to put herself through college and she is wary of people because she has been betrayed so many times but the hero the hero has an opposite life he has had a life of privilege but, and he's the youngest child of a wealthy, prestigious family, but he is under the hard rule of his father and he is trying to escape him. He's always felt like an oddball in his family. He wants to leave, but his niece fell seriously ill and he sticks around for that. And the heroine is brought into their lives by a shocking connection to the niece <laughs> and sparks instantly ignite between them and the attraction is both powerful and forbidden so so looking forward to that one <laughs> and the last book releasing on march 9th is to catch a dream by audrey carlin this is number two in the wish series evie and her sister are given a stack of letters from their mother after she passes away with the instructions to open them open each one of them open one on their birthday every year. Evie has a successful career, but she still desires stability and security. And the discovery of more letters hidden in her mother's box leads to secrets and a new way for Evie to think of her family and her future. On March 16th, Twisted Cravings by Cora Riley is releasing. This is the sixth book in the Kimura Chronicles series. 
The hero is the youngest brother of the Falcon clan and has been raised up around blood and violence all his life and drugs soon become his way of coping. Becoming a made man has always been his destiny but not his passion. Heroine is the only female race car driver and she is the Bratva princess. And she is allowed to drive in enemy territory. They soon find themselves entangled in a passionate game that extends further than the racetrack. What they crave the most comes with a brutal price. So they come from like enemy mob, <laughs> enemy mob family. So definitely forbidden on that part. On March 16th, Five Ways to Fall Out of Love is really seen by Emily Martin. This is a YA rom-com. The heroine is stood up at homecoming by the new boy Webster next door in front of everyone. Proving her theory that love never lasts when her parents, because her parents' marriage is also falling apart. Sparks fly when she meets Webster's cousin but then Webster ends up being her lab partner for the rest of the year. And so this is just her journey to discovering, you know, kind of what love is. Also on March 16th, The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai is releasing. Daisy is a software engineer and understands list and logic better than bosses and boyfriends. She has her life planned out with no interest in love, no interest in a family. And the one thing she cannot give her family is marriage. And then that's what they want for her. So she asks her childhood crush to be her fake fiance. Liam learns that his inheritance is in contingent on getting married. And he realized his best friend's little sister has the perfect solution to his problem. Sparks fly when Daisy and Liam go on a series of dates to legitimize their fake relationship. On March 22nd, Headstrong by Eden Finley releases. This is the third book in the Vino and Veritas series. This series is takes place in Serena, Serena Bowen's True North series. This is also an MM romance. In the synopsis, they never did say the first hero's name, so I don't know what it is. But So the first hero meets the second hero. His name is Wit. Wit is a hockey player, and the first hero despises hockey. <laughs> And um, the wit is also has newly come out and he can't help but feel sorry for the guy when his over eagerness to find a partner scares away potential partners. <laughs> so he decides to be his wingman, but then he, but watching him flirt with other men makes him jealous and it makes it all complicated because Wit challenges him to his hatred of hockey and why he's a straight man imagining kissing another man. On March 23rd, Meet Me in Paradise by Libby Hubshire Hubsh is releasing. So Marion has never done much in her life after her journalist's mother died on an assignment. So after she died, it just kind of like scared Marion. So yeah. she just stays at home and plays everything safely. But her wild child younger sister trots around the globe as a photographer and her sister comes up with a plan for them to spend a spa weekend on a tropical island together and Marion agrees but Marion has lots of fears and her sister is unable to make the plane so she has to fly alone and the guy that took her sister's seat on the plane <laughs> she lands in his lab after they hit some turbulence and first time she has to step out of her comfort zone on the island and with Lucas. That's the guy who was sitting beside her. <laughs> also on March 23rd, The Secret Recipe for Moving On by Karen Bisher is releasing. This is a YA romance. The heroine is dumped by her boyfriend on the first day of senior year. She has to share a skills life class with him and his new girlfriend. She is partnered with the family of misfits and it's three boys. AJ is the loud mouth. Isaiah is the horse racing obsessive. And Luke is the tattooed stunt biker. It's a recipe for disaster until an in-class competition allows the heroine to channel her inner angst to beat her ex-boyfriend and his girlfriend. And she unexpectedly bonds with the group 
especially with Luke. On March 26th, Kiss of War by Clara Elroy is releasing and this is the first book in the City of Stars series. This is an enemies to lovers romance. Years ago, the heroine's family destroyed the hero's family and now the hero is enemy to the heroine. She bore his cruelty alone until she grew thorns of her own. And I think this is more, this is kind of like a, um, well, of course, enemies to lover, but I think it's also kind of bully romance also. And on March 30th, The Rebel by Kendall Ryan is releasing. This is the first book in the Looking to Score series. All she says on it right now is it's a brand new hockey romance. So that's all, that's all I know for now. <laughs> also on the 30th, Wild Child by Eloisa James releases. This is the sixth book in the Wilds of Lindo Castle series. The heroine runs off and joins a theater troupe and the hero is the Duke who tries to save her reputation. He wants a prim and proper duchess and the heroine is the wildest child of the, wild's fam of the wild family. He's horrified when he realizes the danger she's putting herself in and vows to keep her safe. Also releasing on March 30th is The Hustler Next Door by K.A. Tucker. This is the second book in the Paulson Falls series. There is not much said on this blurb either. It's just, this is Justine's book and it's a standalone novel in the Paulson Falls series. Also on March 30th, With You All The Way by Cynthia Hand is releasing. Ada's life is a mess. She discovers her boyfriend cheating on her. She's tired of her older sister's unwanted advice and then discovers her own mother having an affair on, a fa on their family vacation in Hawaii. Also on March 30th, <laughs> Hard to Lose by Kay Bromberg is releasing. This is the fourth book in the Play Hard series. It was a simple letter lost in transit, a thank you and apology received five years too late. Something about that letter from the baseball pitching phenomenon turned enlisted soldier wouldn't let, wouldn't let go of Chase Kincaid. She had to know how his story ended. Also on March 30th, Back in the Burbs by Avery Flynn and Tracy Wolf is, is releasing. The heroine has been going through a bad time when her aunt dies and she inherits her aunt's house. She arrives and the house is falling apart and the neighbor next door, he walks out and her the and tells her that she needs to cut the grass. <laughs> and she is just, from situations from her job and then the neighbor telling her she's sick of men telling her what to do. And so she decides to stick around in the small town and fix up her aunt's house with the help of YouTube. <laughs> also on March 30th, A Deal with the Devil by Amelia Wilde is releasing. A man can only have one great love and mine was the sea until I pulled a half drowned heiress out the water until I kept her. So the hero protects her from a dangerous from dangerous pirates and he has a lifetime of treasure to save but when the ship is going down there's only one thing he wants to save and it's her and the last book for the month and on march 30th is free fall by sarah kate three years ago i did something insane and it, it awoke a hunger inside of me a craving for something new something powerful and i can't ignore it any longer so those are 34 romance books that are releasing in March. Let me know what you're looking forward to in March. And if there are any that I forgot, you can include it in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.